Hello again, this is Rachel George and Tim Howard for High School Hoops Weekly. It's conference tournament week. It's getting exciting, almost to the playoffs, so we're going to jump right in with our top three stories. And Tim, who do you have at number three? Number three is the uh, Hired Girls this week. They suffered their first loss in uh, 12 games. They had the lo- won 12 in a row coming in, so I guess their first loss in 13 games, you know. But um, they, um, you know, they, they played really, really poorly, you know, mm-hmm. for them. You know, uh, I've seen them a couple times this year, and that, that was probably one of the one of the poorest outings they've had this year. Um, mm-hmm. So it'll be interesting to see how they b- bounce back, and we'll talk to Ray Beatty, their coach, a little early, later in the show, and, and find out how they're bouncing back from that loss. Surely, truly. At number three, I've got um, a really notable performance: Tofidis Karras at Cape Fear Academy. He's a senior, leading scorer in the area. He had 57 points last week, 15 rebounds. Most notable, I think this is a season high for any player that we cover: 39 points, 10 rebounds, and a 73-54 win over Village. Christian, certainly a great player. Um, we had a story on him today on Star News Varsity, so be sure to check that out. But definitely a noteworthy performance from a, from a good player in our area. Over at number two. Number two for me is we, we've been talking about this for the last couple of weeks, the Waccamaw Conference, and mm-hmm. who was going to claim that title? East Columbus, mm-hmm. uh, you know, won it. They won four in a row down the stretch to claim it. Uh, they beat Pender twice, which is uh, two really good yeah. wins. And uh, Oddly enough, they'll play Pender again on Wednesday mm-hmm. in the semifinals of the conference tournament, third time in 14 days right. that they'll play Pender. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I think the, one of the main reasons why East Columbus won is, is the play of T.T. Bennett. Of Obviously, th- their two conference losses came without her, so when she's in the lineup, they're a different team. That's right. Well, stick in the Waccamaw. South Brunswick boys win it. They beat Whiteville on Friday by 22 points. Really, a, a, I was there, a game where Whiteville never established the tone. South Brunswick completely controlled things. They finish 11-1 in the Waccamaw. It's their first conference title win since 1995, so obviously very notable for them. They'll get the number one uh, 2A seed and certainly on a roll, and they creep into the polls this week. I saw that too. So, Over at number one, what do we have? Number one um, is New Hanover girls. They were the ones who beat Hoggard on uh, last Thursday night, and you know I covered that game, so I, I got to see them. And that's probably the best New Hanover's looked in about three or four years, mm-hmm. you know, as far as uh, I've been able to see. Um, they really played well. They played smart. Uh, they attacked the basket. They made right. 31 of 42 free throws, which was the difference in the game. Yeah. They made 15 in a row at one point. So uh, a really smart uh, performance, and uh, I think they've got a lot of confidence heading into the conference tournament. Sure. Sticking the Mideastern for my number one, Jacksonville claims the boys' title outright. Uh, that's the first time since 1996 when the school was a 4A and had the Goldsboro and Wayne County schools in there. Um, Hoggard will take the number two seed in the conference tournament by virtue of a 70-60 to 60 win over New Hanover on Thursday, which you were there. We'll have uh, Hoggard boys coach Brett Queen a little bit later in the show. Um, New Hanover has won or shared the past six. Hoggard had it one of the years, so that's obviously very notable for the you know 3A Cardinals to sneak up there and grab that, that title this season. Joined now by Hogger boys coach Brett Queen, and you guys are coming off that big win over New Hanover on Thursday. How important was it to take that win in the uh, regular season finale? Well, it was very important. It was the only way we have a chance to to be the number one seed in the state playoffs. You know, we knew we were going to have to to win that game on Thursday. And we're going to have to win some games this week, but mm-hmm. you know it, it was important for us, and you know an opportunity. You know we didn't know what Jackson was going to do, so it was an opportunity we thought to still share a conference title. Uh, Jackson and White Oak didn't cooperate with us, but it was important for our kids. Mm-hmm. The number one seed will come down to who goes further this week. You guys are New Hanover. What's it going to take for you guys to make a run in the tournament and steal that number one seed? Well, I mean the first thing we got to do is we got to get past the first round. I mean, we, we told our kids we can't take anything for granted. We've been successful against West Brunswick you know, both times this year, but that's not going to win the game tonight. We've got, to, we've got to do a good job. And and then we've just got to have the same kind of focus and intensity that we had uh, against New Hanover the other night. We've got to keep that. You know, at this time of the year, you've got to have that every single night. You can't have any bad nights. That's right. All right, well, thanks for joining us, Coach. Good luck this week in the tournament. We're joined now by Hoggard girls coach Ray Beatty. And, and Coach, I know uh, your girls suffered a a tough setback against New Hanover. How have they bounced back, and how have your last couple of practices gone? Well, a, a loss like that uh, could either do uh, one or two things that can hurt you, and uh, or it can motivate you. And uh, for my girls, fortunately, it motivated them. We've had some great practices, Tim, coming in, and uh, from the beginning of practice to the end, they've been highly motivated, and they just can't wait to get back on the floor. Well, good. I know. Uh, I know. We talked a little bit earlier this year about Katie Norris breaking the the school record here for most three pointers made in her career, and she's a fantastic player. Tell me a little about your experience working with her. Oh man, you know what can I say about Katie? You you love for good things to happen to good people, and you love to see uh, that recognition going to someone uh, as nice as Katie. Uh, she's been a big help for us. She's been playing injured for us, 
and giving 110 percent when she gets on the floor and not to mention the three pointers they always help you know when you can get those threes there so uh, we're going to truly miss her when she leaves all right yeah. okay. thanks ray and uh, good luck this weekend thank you too all right, folks, this is the time where we norm normally bring you the game of the week this week, but we don't have one because we don't know who's playing. So check out Star News Online for the brackets. We'll be putting them up on the screen here. Um, we'll have all those results in the paper. Uh, like I said, brackets up on Star News Varsity. So follow us. We'll be back next week with some playoff seating, see where our teams end up. Uh, but for now, for Tim Hauer and myself, Rachel George, this has been High School Hoops Weekly on StarNewsOnline.com.